Do you see anything? No, this diner is wrecked to shit. There's nothing in this post office either. What do you think happened here? It looks like they tried to exterminate the zombies. Obviously it didn't work. Come on, we still have plenty of the town to search. Get inside, now! Up the stairs! Over here! <laughs> Finally, I can stop and rest a bit. Not so fast. Oh, fuck me. Shut up and get on the ground. <laughs> okay, okay, just don't shoot. Fuck you, you get on the ground. Zach, are you fucking stupid? Put the gun away! Shut up. You better listen to your friend and you, I said, get on the ground. I'm gonna shove this gun up your fucking asshole if you don't shut the fuck up and get on the ground right now. Hey, relax, buddy. I'm friendly. I won't do anything. Just don't kill me. You see this gun? In about five seconds, I'm going to use it to make you shit out your own intestines. Zach, he said he's friendly. And I don't fucking believe him. He was ready to kill us both a minute ago, and now you're on his side? I get it. You're really stressed out about your parents right now. But you have to stop and think. Wait, what happened to his parents? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Remember back in Smallville? When we first met? I could have killed you like some dirty raider from Fallout. But I didn't. And now look, we're best buds. And who knows, maybe this guy knows where your parents are. Listen, I'm really sorry I threatened you. I'm friendly, I swear. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. Can I get up now? There's kind of a rock jammed against my balls right now. Yeah, get up. I'm really sorry about all this. The name's Tristan. Call me T. And the reckless bandito must be Zack. I'm guessing you weren't always on edge like this. Well, I've never really stood on top of a fucking six-story building before. I've never really had that opportunity to be by an edge this high. I meant stressed out. Uh, I'm guessing you didn't threaten the livelihood of T's asshole when you first met him. No. He actually threatened to rip my dick off. I'm glad I'm not in your shoes right now. Well... I mean, he didn't actually rip my dick off or anything. Enough. How long have you been here, in Frosty Pines? I've been stuck in this godforsaken ski resort ever since the shit hit the fan. I'm looking for my parents. They were on vacation here just as the outbreak happened. I'm sorry, man, but until you two showed up, I was the only person left alive here. How can you know for sure? Listen, I'm being serious. I've seen a lot of innocent people die here. There hasn't been a living thing walking around this resort for at least a month now. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Zach. Now what do we do? You're asking me? All that's left now is to do our best to make sure none of us share their fate. 